Basically, I wanted to see if my Afro Kinky links can, you know, straighten out. And it gave me like a yakky texture. So I filmed it for you guys same way because I'm just like, you know, at least it's showing you guys that it can, you know, go from one texture to the next. So what I did was basically um, wash my hair the day before, parted it out. I like to do things in parts because I don't like to be overwhelmed at all. Like, it's just very discouraging for me. So I'm going to pre-stretch the hair with my Revlon blow dry brush. Magical, does wonders. Um, and this just helps the process to be easier when you're straightening out your hair. I find personally for me. And then once that's done, I'm going to just be, again, working in sections to straighten out the hair um, to get the results that we get at the end of this video that you saw in the beginning of this video. The products that I will be using are two new products that I bought at the hair store. Well, it's like, um, it's like a professional hair salon store um, that I've been going to lately just to like try different products to see like if it makes a difference from, you know, like the actual like beauty hair store. Um, so there is one she gave me. It's called a love oil. I'm gonna put it up around here to show you guys um, To put in your hair After you wash it, I think it's preferred when it's wet um, To put it in your hair before blow drying it and then I also purchased a heat protectant that I'll be spraying my hair with before um, straightening out my hair So this is what my hair well, this is what my hair plus the links looks like when I blow it out and that's the first step before the second step so like I said I'm working in sections so I'm just cutting away I'm moving away the front part from the back part because I'm starting I'm gonna be starting from the back of my hair and I'm just gonna show you guys like little like ins and outs of me straightening over my hair I didn't show everything because I just felt like it was just gonna be too long and tedious and you know I just like quick simple easy straight to the point videos so I know I just blowed out my hair to make it easier to run the straightener through it but as I'm going through the sections now, like mini sections, I'm combing it out once more again so I can get like a better result once I pass the straightener through it. I'm starting off with my actual leave out in the back just to see, you know, just to test out the straightener, test out how my hair will look, test out the heat level, everything, if it's too hot, if it's, you know, just all of that. And I'm going in using my baby bliss straightener. You know how long I've been waiting to say that? Like, I don't know. Like, I've been seeing every great silk press, mostly every great silk press using the baby bliss um, straightener. This is the actual heat protector I'm using, guys. Forgot to mention that. And I'm just going to spray my hair quick, fast, and we're going to run that straightener through it. And, um... I want to, I definitely want to retry this again. I think I'm going to try like a silk press on my natural hair once I take out my braids because my hair is, is in braids right now. Um, but it's not bad. And guys, don't mind my awkward hand with the, like I still don't know how to do this comb straightener combo. It's very, very tough for me. Especially like looking through a mirror, like I don't know, but I just can't seem to get it, you know, synchronized. So don't laugh at that part um, but the straightener so far so good I will be trying this again like I said on my natural hair and I will be trying it again when I reinstall some links back in my hair I have like another fresh pack so I'm gonna try to um, straighten it straighten it out like at an earlier time like maybe after the first wash instead of like the second wash uh, just to see if there will be a difference with the results because I find like I said the end results of this gave more like a yakky texture Which wasn't bad at all. It still straightened it out, you know, but like I was going for more a silk press So yeah, so this is what it's starting to look like the ends look like it could get a one two with a trim as well as my ends of my actual hair But another day another video um, but I just decided like I'm just gonna continue to record this for you guys I'm still gonna show you guys that the hair can be stretched out. It can be straightened out Can it be silk press? We're gonna see we're gonna demonstrate experiment that in another video. I definitely will want to do that for you guys um, Here I'm also gonna show you guys that sometimes like blow for me blow drying out my hair with the links in you know like my head is very tender so like I can't really do as much as I would love to as a, as much as the next person without traction. I would be sure can't. 
but I did have to go and go in like a few links was kind of like um not blowed out or like combed out enough for me so I just went back in and just made sure like it was smooth enough and really all the knots everything was like really combed out before passing the straightener in once again you can do this or you don't have to do this if you're blow dryer when you blow dry your hair if it did like that already for you guys so yeah this is the other side to it uh is there anything else that i want to say i want to say i didn't really go to the roots too much either because i didn't want to melt the links at all because i want this thing to come out when i'm ready for it to, like to uninstall it um I did get to wear my hair in a bun, which was really cute, like a cute, like, big high bun. I really loved that look once my hair was, like, uh, straightened out. I never really wore it down because it was kind of given stiff. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was kind of given stiff. And like I said, it could be because the fact that I had it in, I installed it since, I think, the end of June, beginning of July. And this was done in... I think September like September 3rd I did this so it's been quite a while that the links were installed so that could be why my results was this rather than what I was aiming for rather than what I've seen um, other people achieve with links in so you know it's an experiment we're experimenting uh, the straightener I have to say 10 on 10 the love oil that I used before blow drying out my hair, 10 on 10. I actually used it, like I said, I took out my the links and um, I washed my actual hair before putting in braids right now. And I had used the love oil before blow drying my hair. And when I tell you my hair felt, that was honestly the healthiest my hair has felt in years. I'm not even capping right now, I promise you. So those products work, it's just maybe this hair was kind of like run its course. So, you know, it just, you know, gave a different outcome. But besides that, as you guys can see, the hair can be stretched. Shout out to once again, Better Length for sponsoring your girl with this video. You guys can still use my code, which is Kendra1061 on the Better Length website. I'm going to put it in this video as well as down below in the description box. You guys don't have to use the link. Um, you guys don't you guys don't necessarily have to use the code only on links you guys can use it for anything to purchase on the website as long as it amounts to $99 plus um, the link the code will work for you guys oh, look in my
listen guys this this could have been much better if i do say so myself i'm really happy that it could straighten don't get me wrong however i feel like it could have been more you know like i went to dominicans type of blow up you know what i'm saying you feel me but i guess this will do it is on old hair i've had this installed in for what from june june till now so you know it's kind of stale so i understand why it's not giving the results that i want it to give but needless to say at least you guys know that your micro links can be straightened and it could definitely pass as your hair it's really not that bad though like it's really really not that bad it's really not that bad like it's a bit stiff but i mean i'm gonna probably keep it in a ponytail and maybe like an updo because i do plan on taking it out in a couple of days that's why i just decided to just straighten it now because it's gonna come out just now so if you guys you know like these little series i wish i could have done more um let me know i still have another a bundle like a pack of bundle of um links so i'm gonna probably redo my hair again and this time i will straighten straighten it out at an earlier time of this like you know while it's installed rather than so late in the game so i can see if there's a difference so this is definitely gonna be like um what do they call that thing this is gonna be like a reference video and then i'm gonna reinstall it again and come back to see if it makes a difference on when you actually um, decide to straighten your hair. Uh, so for now, I'm just gonna, you know, thing up my part some more. By the way, the baby, even the baby bliss too, I wanna like make sure like it really, I mean, it does what it needs to do. Not gonna lie. Yo, my scalp moves too much for me to always like get the perfect straight. Dang. But anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. You know, I did as much as I could for y'all. I tried. I try to straighten it, it don't straight. Wait, this piece right here is bugging me. In case I try to take a thumbnail from in the video, I'm trying to make sure everything looks proper. You know what I'm saying? But it's really not that bad. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, call people boo, let people on. And I'll see you guys in my next video, boo. Ciao.